Hello everyone. Welcome back to the series three of difficult embryo transfers. We have divided difficult embryo transfers into three. Difficulty in visualization, difficulty in entering, and difficulty in negotiating the cervical canal. Embryo transfer is an extremely crucial part of the IVF process. And today we are going to discuss what we should do when it is difficult to enter into the cervical canal. In many cases, the difficulty is because of vaginismus or the contraction of the vaginal and perivaginal muscles where the lady does not allow any form of physical penetration and uh, let it be the physical intercourse or ultrasounds or instruments which help us enter into the cervical canal. In these cases, it is best to do the procedure of embryo transfer under general anesthesia. We have published a study where we have compared 50 women where we have given anesthesia and 50 women where we haven't given anesthesia during embryo transfer. And you see the screenshot of the study on your screen. And we have seen that there is no difference in embryo transfer. Many patients, couples and doctors are concerned about giving anesthesia during embryo transfer. But I personally feel that it is much better than struggling during a difficult uh, penetration of your instruments and the patient going into spasm. And that itself is going to reduce your chances of implantation. So in this study, we have clearly proven that given anesthesia during embryo transfer does not reduce our pregnancy rates. So for those where instrumentation is difficult, please give mild anesthesia with propofol during embryo transfer. Sometimes there are structures in and around the vaginal orifice that do not allow your catheter to pass. At that time, it is better to negotiate on the sides in a very gentle manner using the outer embryo transfer catheter along with the stylet to be able to pass your inner catheter easily. There can be many such structures. Here is a structure of a vaginal cyst which allows, which if you don't negotiate your outer first and you just bring your inner, you're going to spend a lot of time. And if your embryos are outside, you're going to reduce your pregnancy rates. Now in this, you see, this is the cervical opening and this is the point from where we introduce the catheter. Sometimes this is very pinpoint. Your catheter is about a millimeter or just less than that. And this could be very minute and it will not allow your outer to go in. So it's just at the entrance and later on the canal is fine. So what we have uh, kind of innovated is we take a number 11 scalpel and just minutely cut at the entrance. If it's a sudden finding, ideally it should not be, but if it is, and then you pass your outer catheter. It may bleed uh, and you have to be sure that you have passed the outer and your inner goes through the outer catheter and it does not touch if there is some bleeding. Once you've done a good transfer, you've taken out your catheters. And then if you just put some gentle pressure 
on that area for about a minute to maximum five minutes, in 99.9%, .9 it's going to seal itself. Then there is the case of the cervix being pulled higher. It's so high that with your normal instrument, which is a cusco speculum, you are not able to gain that axis. So instead, you use the sim speculum. And this is an instrument when after you put in the catheter, you can take out the sim speculum and then you have to angulate your catheters in a certain way so that it is able to reach the cervix at the top. And you might need to hold the cervix. Ideally, in an embryo transfer, you should not hold your cervix with anything. But in this, you may need to hold the cervix. And uh, this is a small demonstration. So I've put it in. I've taken out the sims. And now I'm going to antivert my entire system. And I've asked for the inner catheter to come. And now I will push the uh, catheter in. So today uh, we have dealt with when it is difficult to enter. The points, just to recap, are anesthesia, negotiation, cutting the entrance if it is pinpoint, and using the same speculum. So see you next time when we cover a very important part of difficult embryo transfer, which is difficulty in negotiating the cervical canal. Till then, bye.